Hi, Kim. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Thanks you in person. For coming by. Thanks for writing in. You want to explain yeah. your space for me here? Yeah, so this is our backyard. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of greenery here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm actually trying to figure out how to make this just a little bit of an oasis back here. Something that's less of an eyesore mm -hmm. and something that I just enjoy. All right, so is this sun or shade? Well, that's the problem. Okay. Um, it's got sort of half sun and half shade, and I just didn't know how to handle that. Well, it's actually not a problem. We could just determine Great. where the shade is. We do shade perennials and sun perennials over there, so there's always a solution to that. Um, and then what about the shed? This is our gardening shed and, you know, multi-purpose. Okay. Uh, I actually love it. It's charming. It is I, charming. I, I like it, so I'd love to incorporate it more into the yard instead of having it look like just sort of an afterthought. Okay, perfect. So one, you're gonna need like clean access to get in and out of the shed. So maybe yes. a few stepping stones or some kind of path. Great and idea. then second, you can see where the water drips off the roof line mm -hmm. from the drip edge up top, and then the dirt is splashing on. It's gonna cause rot in your wood. And I think if we put a drip edge on the ground, that could fix that. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of moving pieces. It's a small area, but a lot of things going on. I'm gonna get my tape measure, make some measurements and put a little plan together and then we'll go from there. Great, okay. Okay, so here's the plan I came up with. I'd like to start with a shed. Here's the drip edge, we'll come out 12 inches. That's gonna fix any water backsplashing up and rotting your wood. Uh, New England stepping stones, thought I'd pick a native New England stone. I love that idea. So it's a Goshen stone, it's a durable stone. You're gonna be able to get lawnmowers, snowblowers in and out, so it's gonna create perfect access while maintaining a natural vibe. This is the shadiest part of the property on your right side and plants like hosta will do perfectly there. Mm -hmm. Big foliage, it'll feel nice and full. And over on the left, we have all full sun perennials. Multi-season, spring, summer, fall, right? And also as a bonus on the side, we have annuals. So every year you could switch it up and depending on the season, I think Cosmos would look so beautiful mm. up against the fence mm. line. So. What do you think? I love that idea. All That's right. great. Okay, so I wanted to get the first stone in for many reasons, to get the right grade. I wanted to have clearance of this door swinging open because before it was getting stuck. Perfect. I love the stone. It looks so good. So before we place the other stones, what I want to do is get the drip edge in. So we're going to go travel back this way. I want to come off 12 inches, right? 12 inches here. So about right there. And then we're gonna mark this line. I've got a can of paint. So what I wanna do is mark it so it'll define the edge. What we're gonna do is excavate down about five inches. So I had it already bent to fit. Good, looks good over here. So next, Grab a spike and then just take your hammer. So this is the fabric. Just tuck it in so it's like an, about an inch below. And next, got the decorative stone. First stepping stone is in. I want to get the second one in. We're going to dig it to the depth of one and a half, two inches, so we can get them level. Good. All right. And now I want to take the weeds out, turn over the soil, loosen everything up, and add some amendments like compost. Every job I do, I always lay out the plants. And before you get them in the ground, it's opportunity to move them. Right, Makes So sense. what do you think? I think it looks great. I would like to maybe move that one a little forward. This is your house. Yeah. You can move Let's anything you want. I think it's good. Okay, so I see you've got the hosta. Let's get that in the ground. So when I plant perennials, go around, you tease the roots of the side so they don't start to grow circular like how they were in the pot. And that looks pretty good. 
plant. And now how deep do you want to plant it? So okay. it should be at the soil line where the plant is in the pot. Okay, great. I have to also account for mulch. We plant them a little bit high and then just go around and make sure there's no air pockets. And then we move on to the next. It wasn't in the plan, but you could use a few daffodils. I would love that. Put the root side down. It's about six inches deep and put like eight to 10 in there. Awesome. And then we backfill. Sometimes I just drop little piles and then go back and spread them. Sometimes big piles. Yes. Kim, this plan really came together. I love it. I love the stepping stones. I love the drip edge. And I just can't believe the transformation. I can't wait to see the flowers and bloom all season long. They're gonna travel throughout the season. All you have to do when you come to fall time to put the garden to rest, cut back all the perennials two to three inches high. Springtime, do a little raking, add a little fertilizer, do your watering and enjoy. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This Old House has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.